Yes, I know the lighting is bad. This is as bright as it's going to get because it's dark outside because it's uh, December and it's 6 o'clock. The overhead lights don't work, so I just have to have lamps. I am in my bed. This is my bed. You guys have never seen it. You probably won't see it again. Maybe you'll see it again. I don't know. It's This is the ceiling. It's the loft. Bed tour. I have to block off this window here. I It was because of in the summer, uh, there's no insulation in our house really, so it gets really hot, so I block the windows. And I just didn't unblock it because it gets bright in the morning, so I just left it like that. Anyway, so I'm in my bed and I'm home by myself, which is a good, good because now I'm going to be able to film this video. So this is my aunt's, I think my aunt's old doll from when she was a kid and I'm going to fix her up and give her to my mom for Christmas if because my mom has been wanting to fix her up and if my mom decides to give her back to my aunt I guess that's fine it's really my aunt's doll so if she decides to do that I can't be that upset about it but for Christmas I'm gonna fix this up and give it to her so I'll tell you what I've been doing so far here's a close-up so she is almost bald um, so for her hair, I have, I'm doing a curl, so when I put the bonnet on her, you're going to see some of her hair underneath, and then I'm going to have bangs, and so I'm going to leave her bald. I'm just going to put a bonnet on her so she'll, you won't be able to tell that she's bald. Um, for her eyes, I'm not actually sure. I might just leave them, even though it looks weird. Um, but I kind of tried to clean off her body, but... It's just, she's kind of stained, so it's just going to be stained. She's going to be wearing clothes. I'll show you the clothes. I'm pretty sure that these are the clothes she came with, but I'm not positive. So these are the pants. Um, the Something that needs to be done to the pants are the elastic is completely um, dry rotted and it's not stretchy at all. If I try to rip the elastic out, it might cause some serious problems to the pants so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the elastic that's already there and I'm going to sew elastic over it um, same thing for the bottoms of the pants this elastic is okay so I might just leave it but the top elastic here needs help okay I don't know where the top is that's bad here it is. So what I've been working on is the lace on the top of this dress had separated from the white fabric. So I began sewing, well I finished sewing the lace back on and now I'm working on um, sewing the lace on the sleeves back to the sleeves. This is uh, elastic. I'm going to cut this loose part that's dangling off and I'm going to leave the elastic that's still sewn on. That's about it, I think, for the dress. Something that I might do is I noticed that someone had attempted to sew the dress at one point with like navy blue thread. I might try to take out the navy blue thread and replace it with white to make it look a little bit better. You can kind of see the navy blue thread. I don't love that, so I might fix it. Um, oh yeah, and I started with making some socks. You can't really tell what's going on with these yet. I um, am just like sort of altering a pattern that I am watching on YouTube. So this is the top of the sock and um this is the heel it is not finished yet obviously because there's no toe here's the sock on her it's not finished so she's gonna have two socks that are gonna look like this um because i don't know i don't know if she had shoes or where they are i'm not sure what she came with um she's from 85 so she's kind of an older-ish girl. This is kind of separating, so I might put a little bit of probably super glue, I think, and just take the fabric and put it back on the leg. 
so that shouldn't be too difficult and I think that that's mostly all I'm gonna do for her I don't want to give her this giant dramatic makeover I want to keep her as authentic as she was as possible so I'm not gonna cut off her hair and give her a wig I'm not gonna cut her hair anymore I'm not gonna paint her or anything I want her to be like she was because I just would prefer that if I was if somebody was restoring something of mine and also like I said she is technically my aunt's doll if my aunt wants her back fine she can have her because it's hers I'm not gonna tell her no she can't have her doll back and she might not appreciate me doing a bunch of stuff to her doll so I'm just gonna be very minimal with what I do today is December 21st so it's a little while later and it is crunch time I am trying to get all these gifts finished if I can't get them done by Christmas I'm just gonna have to do them as birthday gifts and I'm talking quietly because my mom is downstairs working so I'll tell this is what I have so far um, the bonnet is finished I just need to weave in the ends Here's what it looks like. This took me about two days. Not all day, just two days, and it was pretty quick. Um, her hair is still in the pipe cleaner curls. I think I'm gonna take them out of the curls maybe today. Whenever, like, that's gonna be last. I have one sock finished. So here it is. The ends are not woven in. Here's what I have for the other sock so far. Um, it's, it's this part of the sock. I'll put the sock on and show you what it looks like. Okay, here she, here she is wearing the sock. I'm gonna try to finish the other one now. The socks is what's taking the longest. Um, the last sock took me days because the stitches are so small and I I'm using a pattern that I found on YouTube, but I have to alter the pattern, so everything that the person in the video says, I have to double, and that takes a long time. I just walked across the street and got some things for my cousin, and while I was there, I saw this, and I have been looking for these. I haven't been, like, looking, but, like, I've been keeping an eye out, and I got this for myself as soon as I saw it. Look at this. I almost just dropped it oh my gosh okay so another thing that was kind of like holding this up is I dropped one of the socks I dropped the other sock down there I had to push the bookshelf to get the sock okay update it's a little bit later in the day it's 7 30 p.m and my mom just left. So I want to hurry up and get this done while she's gone so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I've made some good progress today on the sock, the other sock. Here it is. It needs, so this is the heel, it needs the toe. And um, another thing, <laughs> I, um, this was my cousin's, I guess, that she was getting rid of. I saw it in a box of stuff that they were selling, and I thought, I thought my mom might like this. So, I'm going to, um, clean it up a little bit. And it looks like it's missing a toilet seat, but I think that's okay. I thought maybe you guys would like to see this. 
I've got both the socks finished finally. And I will now be taking the curls out. Thank you.